Dr. Halbert, if I can ask you some favor? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Take your time. Let's okay. make Picture you know, or pictures. Pictures, pictures, pictures. First of all, okay. after that. Everybody, put on your smile. Rabbi Lachlan's phone. He's taking a picture. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He took some pictures. Okay, from the, from the corner, corner, corner. You have to make it. And I like a doctor. No one is the queue. All right. See? When you're a dentist, you know how to make people smile, right? <laughs> this is uh, Dr. Daniel, part of the job, right? <laughs> when you're a dentist, you know how to make him smile. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we start today. Today the topic is the power of will. Um, okay. Our Divrei Torah today is going to be the Yenun Shmat, Eish HaKashir VaYashar, Shiniftar, B'Shem Tov Minonam, Ahmad Kuna, Baruch Hai, Ben Zilpa, למשפחת מתה טוב, רוח אדוני תנחנו בגן עדן, תהיה נשמתו צורה בצורה חיים. אבל שיעור תורה זו זו גנבי דיון נשמת, for the last maybe three or five years, חנוכה בן מיכאל חמת כולם, ויעקב בן חוסני, רוח השם תנחנו בגן עדן, תהיה נשמתם צורה בצרור החיים. I said, out of respect to the מתה טוב family first of all, this Monday night, looking forward to see you every week, this Monday night is always available, and Matatov is always available to sponsor. So please, challenge them. Put them in a challenge, and the Almighty God will give them unlimited parnasa. Ve'arikuti lachem beracha ad belidai, ad belidai, ad belidai. Our Shiro Torah is going to be for the successful, for the good news of the Matato family. Mula Yaakov, you know Yaakov, I always knew that a unique person. You know how I know? Your first son, his name is Avraham, right? The second one is? It's like, and the last one? Shlomo, beautiful. You know what's Abraham? Abraham is Aleph. Now the second one is Yitzchak. Yitzchak is Yud. Aleph is Yud, I. You know how every song, every Hasidish song starts? I, I, I did it, I, 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 I. This is I. Your first son is Aleph, Abraham. Last one is? Shlomo. Shlomo is? Shin. Esh. Fire with a smile. This is what Matatov is all about. Fire with a smile. The Almighty God will continue the fire. The fire of life and the fire of happiness. The fire of success, Be'ezrat Hashem. And hopefully this year, Chodachat, we're going to dance in their weddings. We're going to hear Kol Sasson, Kol Simcha, Kol Chatan, Kol Kala. My name is Rabbi Vaknin, and I approve this message. Sponsor by the BJCC Youth Minyan Third Floor. The place to be. Ladies and gentlemen, before we're going to start to touch this topic, Daniel just remind me that for every day we used to mention these names. Daniel just told me, Rabbi, you remember these names? Baruchai, you mention them every day in the Shiva Torah. Kol HaKavod, Daniel, Kol HaKavod. I want to tell you something. Before we're going to start today, I'm going to start with a chidush. Unusual chidush for such a young, talented, beautiful um, boys and ladies and girls. Listen to the uniqueness explanation. <coughs> Every father bless his own child. Yasimcha Elokim. What's the blessing that your father bless you every Friday? Yasimcha Elokim Keframi Menashem. Anyone that knows my questions the way that I want to hear the answer will get free breakfast, ham, and three friends. Open Press, sponsored by. Daniel, Daniel Abramov, Ash, Ash, Daniel. Daniel Abramov is the sponsor of today. Gentlemen, anyone that knows the answer, listen to this. Why? Why your father bless you? May God will make you like Ephraim and Menashem. Why not like Avram and Yitzchak? Why not like Reuven and Shimon? Yehuda and Levi, Yehuda is the king. Levi is the Kohanim. Why? Ephraim and Menashem. What was so unique about these two children that every Friday night when you come to your father, some do it before the Kiddush, some do it after the Kiddush, you come to your father, you kiss his hand and your father bless you. May God will make you. This week, parasha, may God will bless you to become like Ephraim and Menashem. Shlomo, do you know the answer? Do you know the answer, Shlomo? Do you know? Where is Shlomo? 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 Where is Shlomo?
אין מישהו יצחק. Why Abba, our father, and every Jewish home bless the children, may God will make you like Ephraim ומנשה. אברהם יצחק is my opinion, is much greater. אברהם אבינו, יצחק, זה עקדה. ראובן was the first child. Ephraim ומנשה is not even direct children. They are grandchildren. Why you skip all the brothers, you skip all of them and you choose the grandchildren? I gave many explanations, but one of them I saw today. Brand new, especially a hat from the oven. It just came hot from the oven for this class. When you're going to hear it, you're going to dance and smile. You say, wow, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky I came to Monday night. Here, anyone know the answer? Yes. A fine woman, Hashem, beautiful. They are the, the children of Yosef HaTzadik. We all know Yosef, right, Benjamin? Do you know Yosef? Joe, Joe. You know Joe? Uncle Joe, Kapara Joe. Yosef is the one that provides food to the whole Jewish nation for 80 years in Egypt. Yosef is the brother that they sold him, they tried to kill him, he was in the jail for no reason. Yosef had two children in Egypt. What's the name of the children? Ephraim and Menashe. Now, every Jewish father bless his children. May God will make you like Ephraim and Menashe. Why? Why, yes? Because they were able to become like holy in a place that wasn't... Uh, Amazing. Uh, it's not my answer, but I love it. I love the answer. And I will make it even stronger. Do you know what they said? Many of you is young. Most of you here is not married. Hopefully next year you're all going to invite me to your wedding. Let us say amen. amen. I didn't hear amen. It's strong. Let us say amen. amen. That's it. By the way, it's better for you to invite me where Israelis. We come anyways. So just out of being politically correct, you don't want to see me surprised you. So please send invitation. We're definitely looking forward to join. I will tell you what the Zohar Kadosh right. I will tell you what the Gemara said. The Gemara said, every single man that live in a city in Queens or in Manhattan, Gehennam, and he doesn't make any sin, he doesn't make any sin, meaning he protect, he protect himself and keep himself to his own wife. He's wedding, not to do any avera, I don't have to mention it. Any single man that is good looking and put in, how do you call it? Banana mousse, chocolate mousse. Yes, gel. He's looking in the mirror and say, Mira, Mira, I'm the most beautiful. And he's going to the gym all day long. He looks like Popeye. You know Popeye? He looks like Popeye. And he's like this. He cannot move the hand. I saw people put the fill in. He takes them a mile to pull it. They need to pull because the hand is like this. Any man that is a good looking, all of you, and he's not merry, and he doesn't do avera, he doesn't do anything, he protects his own Breed Bezrat Hashem, his own Shefa, his own livelihood to his wife. Every day, Dr. Danny, listen to this. Us is too late. They don't mention our names. God mentioned his names on a daily basis. You see my son Yitzchak, Moshe, you just wake up. And thousands of angels clapping their hands. How can you be so strong in the generation of internet, Google, Facebook, Twitter, selfie, TikTok. And in that generation, they don't do anything. You are a hero. You are like the children of Yosef HaTzadik. That they grew up in Egypt, in the worst place spirituality. And still they came to Shur Torah. And still the Shur Torah is wasteful. What the answer? What the answer? Daniel, one breakfast. Even though it was not, we have one breakfast? I thought four. Eh? No, 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 no. It's not my answer. One by one. One is, we have a proven? Okay, you go to Urban Press, you know Urban Press? You get breakfast, we pay for it. I love the answer. The answer, what is your name? Jacob. Jacob, Jacob what? Uh, Yusupo. Yusupo. Let's clap the hand to Jacob Yusupo. He definitely deserves it. Jacob, the answer is Ash. You know what I mean, Ash? Fire. Beautiful answer. To grow up in the worst place, Imagine yourself, you came to your parents, where? In Vegas. If not in Vegas, Cancun, Bura Bura, all these places. And you still keep religion. And you still keep kosher. May God will make you like the children. I love it. Dr. Dr. Albert, Ish.
Ish. One answer. Anyone else have a different answer? Why a friend of Menashem? Listen to this. The Gemara said a story about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, you know, Rabbi Shimon Bar everybody knows Rashbi, right? Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is the one, is the founder of the Zohar. Zohar is Kabbalah. All the deep secret of the Torah has been written and present to this world by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, he was a rabbi that he was in a cage, in a cave for 13 years. 13 years. He came out and he brought what? The most holy book. What's the name of the book? The Kabbalah. The Kabbalistics. And he came and said, I have the power to erase the whole world from judgment. Meaning, as long as I'm alive, all my generation, no matter how many Averot they do, no matter how many sin they do, I exempt them. And if my son is going to join me, I will exempt from the creation of the world until my generation. And if your Tam Ben Oziyahu will join us, we're going to exempt all the generation until Beat Mashiach Tzitkanut. Mrs. Mazal, who is this your Tam Ben Oziyahu? If he's going to join, we're going to exam the whole world from punishment. Do you know what the power you have to be? What exactly your Tam Ben Oziyahu did to be so strong, even stronger from Rashmi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? This is the answer of our questions. This story is given us answer. You know who is your Tam Ben Oziyahu? The Prophet said, you know Tam Ben Oziyahu? was the son, you know, your, your, your tam, ben, was, your tam was the son of Oziyahu. Oziyahu was one of the king of the Jewish nation. That king made one mistake. Shlomo, which mistakes Oziyahu did? He went to sacrifice in Beit HaMikdash. Tell me, can a king sacrifice in the holy temple? Yes or no? No, right? Why not? Anyone know why a king cannot sacrifice? The king came from which tribes? Yehuda. The Kohanim came from which tribes? Levi. Levi. King not allowed to come to Beit HaMikdash. He was thinking, I'm a king, I can do it. A minute that he was walking here, he became leprosy all his body. What is the punishment of leprosy? You have to take him out of the camp. You have to take him out. If he is out, who is the king? Who is the king? His son. His son. Even though his son was the king, he never called himself a king. And not only that, every statement he said, he said, my father was Yahu. He always mentioned his names, the name of his father. Meaning, his kibudurim, honoring parents, was in the greatest level. Because he was honoring his parents, he was worthy to erase all our sin until Be'at Goel Tzedek. Do you know what's the power of Kibudurim? Nothing is greater. Is no greater mitzvah from Kibudurim. Nothing is greater from honoring your father and mother. Gentlemen, before we're going to touch the topic of tonight, I want you to remember that every day you're going in, or every Fridays when Ima or when Abba will bless you, talk to Daniel when Ima is going to bless you. Sipora, my dear son, Dr. Daniel, may God will bless you to be like a friend of Menashe. You're going to ask him, why a friend of Menashe? You know why a friend of Menashe? Do you know what is the difference between a friend of Menashe? Shlomo, who was all this? A friend or Menashe? Menashe. Imagine yourself, Abba Yaakov, blessing you guys, and he put Avram on the side, and he blessed you before. Avram, what are you going to do? Abba. Kavod, you know, Bukharian Ish. Kavod, you know, Kavod? Respect. Why you mention my youngest son before me? I'm Ben Bechor. I'm the oldest son. You're going to speak, right? You're going to come and you're going to rebuke your father. Why you put my son before? I'm the oldest son. Why you skip me? Yaakov, are we no blessing? Ephraim? Even though he's the young, before that Menashe ever complained, 
Did you know that anyone here know David? Menashe ever raised his voice? He kept quiet. Come, Yosef at Sadiq, and try to switch. He said, Abba, you're wrong. This week, Parasha, he said, you're wrong, Abba. You're wrong. Switch your hand. Put the right hand on the Bechor. And the father said, my dear son, I know. Ephraim was supposed to come and say, Abba, why are you getting involved? Why are you getting involved? Saba, Yaakov Avinu, he know better. Why are you getting involved? That Ephraim ever spoke? Both of them kept quiet. You know why? They respect their own parents. Whatever Abba said, we do. Whatever Grandpa said, we follow. We do not argue. Yaakov Avinu said, such a character of honoring parents, you deserve that every father will bless his children. May God will make you like a friend of Menashe. The first time that I share this explanation, why each one of us is being blessed. When we come in tonight, we're not only coming to give a shiur, we're coming to respect Bobo, Saba, Baruch, Baruch Hay, Ben Zilpa. This is Kibbutz Urim, what you're doing right now. Abba, what you're doing right now is Kibbutz Urim. And I will tell you something, guys. Ladies, two things. The first thing is, when you're going out to look for a date, the first advice that no rabbi share ever, if you want to know if your husband or your wife is going to be a good people, after marriage, not before marriage. Before marriage, they're all good. All of them is romantic and open in the door, send you flowers, better before. They, they take you in to expensive restaurant before weddings. After weddings, falafel, special lunch special, $9.99. Nobody opened the door, you call your husband, you forgot me behind, the guy even drive. Before wedding is wedding, mazesh. Ladies, do not buy this nonsense. Everybody before is an actor. This is a world of games. How do you know if your future husband is good or not? How do you know if your future wife is good enough? Before wedding, her voice is always quiet and beautiful. David, hello, David. After weddings, David, what a voice. What a voice, Kapara. Ask anyone that gets married. After marriage, I have in my house double windows. I'm trying to protect why you are. What a voice. When I revealed my wife's voice, I told my wife, you can go to the opera. At least one of us can make money. If I choose to be a rabbi, at least one of us. What the voice, my wife, I never heard such a voice before weddings. It was always quiet, romantic. Hello, how are we doing? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. How do you know who is good, who is that? How do you know? I will tell you how to know. Check the way that they honor their parents. If they do not respect the parents, Houston, we have a problem. You know Houston? You don't go for it. If a person do not respect his father, or if a woman do not respect the father, or if a man do not respect his mother, he will never respect you. Never. The reason that he respects you is because he wants to get married with you. You will never become most, more important from his mother. Kibbutz Dorin is one of the more and the most important tools to check before weddings who is real, who is fake. Unreal. And this is one. And second, with this I'm going to conclude, what goes around, comes around. Gentlemen, ladies, if you think that you can behave to your parents the way you want it, don't worry. The world is going wrong. I'm not cursing, God forbid, but I guarantee you that your children will do exactly the same that what you do to your parents. If you honor in your parents, Worry not. Worry not. Your children will grow up to become perfect children. Do you know why? Because you respect each other. Thank God, I say it with a lot of humility. I can see it with my children. Bili Ainara, Bili Ainara, until 120. I never hurt my parents. I was so careful in Kibbutz until now. When I tell you careful, I went into the hospital. When my father, Ahmad Kuna, was in the hospital for eight months. I went and I left my family and the community for eight months. 
and that time I was a rabbi in the Syrian community, I left my wife and the community and four children to sleep in the floor of the hospital for eight months. Not one, one day, not two days, eight months. I was sleeping and every night, two o'clock in the morning, my father, Ahmad Kunam, used to ask me, Asher, are you still here? I said, Abba, I'm always going to be here. As long as you're alive, I'm always going to be here. Kibudurim, the way that you respect your parents. Yesim Chayelukim Kefrem. You know why Ephraim and Menashe? One time we explained because of jealousy, because of Egypt. It's all beautiful. But the explanation that I saw today is because Ephraim and Menashe had Kibud Urim. They had this mitzvah Daniel in the greatest. It was a time, it was a time in our history. Not long ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. When your parents talk to you, Bukharian heritage. Nobody looked in his parents' eyes. Abba said, we follow. Today, some people, they have the chutzpah, they look in their eyes. Abba, this is not Bukhara. We are 2023. We are TikTok generation. Don't talk to me like this. Let's step outside. All this nonsense. Remember, Kibud Orim is one of the greatest mitzvot. And this is the introduction for tonight's class. If this is so, let's start the class. What's the topic today? What's the topic? What's the topic? The power of a good will. The power of a good will. Beautiful. Ratzon. Ratzon meaning will. Nothing is more important from having a will. I will tell you so much that Chazal said, and Davar Ahmed Bifne Aratzon. You know what I said? Nothing can stop you from achieving anything you want. The only question is if you want it. The only if you want something badly, nothing will ever stop you to become Rabbi Akiva, to become Moshe Rabenu. Nothing will ever stop you. You can achieve the highest level in your life. All what you need, and today we're going to study how to create a will, what's the practical ways to do it and to build the wills, but will is important. Which tefillah is the most important tefillah in every Sephardic synagogues? I said Sephardic and Popes. You know, I'm going to give you a hint. Right? What do we do? What do all of us do? What do we do when we do Poteach et Yadecha? What do we do? We open the hand. Poteach et Yadecha or Masbiya. Listen to the explanation of this word. Mr. Tzipora, we said like this. Open your hand and listen to this. Poteach et Yadecha. Open your hand. Sephardim, we open. We're not, you know, small. Esh, Borei Olam, give, give us, give us blessing. We open the whole end. Give us weddings, give us health, give us happiness, give us parnasa, give us, give us. We open the end. Listen to this, you must be. And I will fulfill the whole chai for any creature, for any human being, for any life creature. You, Ratzon, you know what you mean, Ratzon? How much God give you? Depends on how much you want it. We have the secret of how important is will in this pasuk. In this pasuk. Nobody ever knew about it. You know what they said? How that one Rosh Hashiva said? My kind, kinderach, you know kinderach? Children. If you want to become Rosh Hashiva, you're going to become Rosh Hashiva. And if you want to become a shoemaker, you're going to become a shoemaker. Depends what do you want? If you want to achieve the greatness, you will achieve the greatness. All what you have to have, what? Ratzon. Just want it. Want something very badly and God will give you anything that you want. Nothing will ever stop you from what move us in life? What move us to get married? Why people is getting married? Because of what? The will to get married. Why people wake up in the morning? Why people wake up in the morning? Why, why, what's the reason people wake up in the morning? I mean, most of us, especially in your age, only in this age, they call it in Hebrew, no offense, stupid age, 
16, 17, 18, 19, all this beautiful age. How many hours are you sleeping? 12, 14, some people 18. Some people never wake up. They come to Shabbat after 15 hours sleeping, and you're going to see with a face like this, Kvod Arab, I'm so tired. You just wake up after 15 hours. I barely sleep three hours, and the guy look, he looks like a pillow. He have a sign of pillow on his face. And you age, you have ability to sleep, I'm real. I never figure out how. But you love this. So why you wake up in the morning? Why did you wake up today? What make a human being to wake up? I will tell you what. I will. I will. Something have to wake you. Something have to be important enough for you to have a strong will to wake up. If I'm going to tell you that tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, you have a business deal, that if you're going to wake up at 5, you're going to make $1,000 clean. How many of you are going to be wake up tomorrow? How many? That you need the rabbi to call you to wake you up? Rabbi, you don't call me in times. Why you don't call me every morning? That I need to wake you? I don't understand when it was the, how the axe makes and the new year and the happy new year. People never slept. We have to make cash. You don't need to call me. Rabbi, don't call me. I call you. Hashem Elech. Hashem Elech. If you need, you remember the time that your parents took you to make a mouse? Do you remember these times? Orlando, Florida? That your parents ever need to wake you up in the morning? Three o'clock in the morning, the blood is running, the child is jumping, we're going to make a mouse. He never, he didn't sleep the whole night. For Minyan, your parents try to wake you up in Minyan, the guy is Kaddish. It's Kadam with Kaddash. He's dead for 12 hours. He's going to wake up Rahmat Kunam in 12 hours from now. Try to wake up your son, but give him 1,000. Oh, yeah. What's the difference? The difference is will. You need something strong enough to create a will, and if you have to will, you don't have to wake up. You don't even have, you don't have nobody to wake you up. You don't even need an alarm clock. You're going to see if something is important. If when I have a meeting with immigration, you know, you're American, spoiled American. All of you is perhaps a citizen. I'm Israelis, you can hear with my English. Now, being Israelis, if you want to tell Israelis what is Yom Kippur, he will tell you, go into immigration. This is the feeling of Yom Kippur. Mila Chaim, Mila Mavet. Mi Bekitzorom, Utshuva, Utfila. For us, waking up in the morning for immigration, you don't have to wake up. We never went to sleep. This is reality. When you have a job, interview, when you're going into university, a power of a good will. If you want something so badly, nothing will ever stop you together. Physically and spirituality. I'm talking about in the secular world, to achieve the highest limit. And especially in the spiritual, spiritual world. It all depends how much you want it. Again, nothing can stop you. I will tell you a story that happened to me. Not to me, to one of my students. The only Bukharian Jew. Young boys, is now 22 years old, maybe 23, that was accepted to Harvard University for free. The only Bukharian boys in your age that went from Forest Hills High School, Forest Hills High School, straight to Harvard for free for four years. You know what's his name? Boris Davidov, my student. Now one time I asked him, how do you get to Harvard? I, I, I understand that God is making miracle, but can you maybe share with me what exactly you did to make the vessel for Hashem, for the Almighty God to make? I said, Rabbi, very simple. I wanted to go to Harvard so badly. I said, there's no way. I'm not going to any place. Not Yale, not Princeton, not Columbia, not Stanford, the five Ivy Leagues. I want, I'm going only to Harvard because I want to become a lawyer. And lawyer and Harvard, they're the best one. So, so what do you did? It's very simple. I went into, how do you call it? They have the Jewish event in Washington. How do you call them? No, no, they have this um, J, um, APAC. APAC, exactly. He went to APAC. Now, he got information. He was the president of the Jewish clubs and forest cities. He got the information that the president of Harvard is a Jew, will be there. He said, that's it. That's what they need to know. He went around and he was looking, who is the president? 
They told him this, the prayer, he came to him and said, Shalom, my name is Bo. What the Bukharian, what the Chutzpah, Jewish Chutzpah, unreal. He came to him and he said, Shalom, he said, my name is uh, Boris Davidov. Uh, I am the president of the Jewish club. Some like such, such a club. Huh? <laughs> well, Forest Hills High School, Billy Prestige High School. He said, I'm the president of the Forest Hills and I want to tell you I'm very disappointed with you. <laughs> the guy knows. He said, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, we just know each other one minute. Why are you disappointed for me so badly? You don't understand. I sent you five emails. You didn't respond even once. It's like, hey, this guy is waiting for his email. <laughs> you know, all night long. Yeah, I'm sure. He said, you know, Mehmet, you sent me email? He said, yes, I sent you email. I sent you email five times. You didn't respond. I want to study a new school, and I don't understand. Why? Because I came from this. I believe that I can do it. The guy looked at him and he said, I never met such a chutzpah young boys like you, but I love your audacity. I really send me once again email. He gave him his private emails, and this time I promise you to answer. He answered his email and he sent a message to Harvard. We accept this voice for free for four years. <laughs> Nothing can stand up against you win. The question is how badly you want it. If you want it badly, and he was there, a religious guy, keeping Shabbat, keeping Kashrut, he became the president of the Jewish. Club in Harvard, much different. Right? <laughs> it was always the guy I have. You know what the chutzpah? Why? Because Daniel he had a good will, a strong will. Nothing can stop you. If you want to wake up in the morning, don't tell me you cannot. Tell me you don't want it. Because if you want it, you will wake up in the morning. Don't tell me it's difficult to put kippah, to put tzitzit. I went in France a few months ago, six months ago. I went. I was invited to give some lectures. I went into France. I went to many places and I was wearing kapi, kippah and tzitzit, proud. I am a Jew and I am proud. Listen, you don't have to be afraid. If you really want it, you can put a lit katan. If you really want it, you can go with majesty. If you really want it, you can wake up in the morning. If you really want it, you can keep Shabbat. If you really want it, you can, you can become the next and Elon Musk. The question is how badly you want it. What do you want in life? Ask yourself, what did I want in life? Take pen and paper and write. What did I want to achieve in my life? Second line, what exactly I have to do in order to achieve it? And the last line, how long is it supposed to take me together? Very simple. And shoot to the target. If you're going to shoot to any target, any target, you don't understand how, what the power is, the, 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 the power of will. A minute that you want, you know, they ask the Gaul Mivina, how did you become the Gaul Mivina? It's a very simple. You know what you mean, Vilna? Vilna. You know what is Vilna in, 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 in Yiddish or Ashkenaz? You know what's Vilna? Will. You know, that's it. How do you know? And that is only. All what you need to become a giant is to become what? Goodwill. The giant from a goodwill. The giant from a goodwill. One of the biggest rabbi in history, one of the biggest rabbi in history, ladies and gentlemen, his name is a, a rabbi, rabbi Akiva Iger. Daniel Rabbi Akiva Iger came into yeshiva. He went from one yeshiva to another yeshiva. And he said, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you a question. Imagine yourself, Chacham Ovadia. Imagine yourself, Rabbi Yashiv. Rabbi, Rabbi Steinemann. Imagine yourself, a giant, the biggest rabbi in the world. Binyamin is coming into Yeshiva and said, I'm going to ask you one question in Gemara. Anyone that knows the answer will get my daughter. You know what it means to get married with the biggest rabbi in the world? And these times, everybody was prepared. People stop breathing, waiting. He threw the questions. Nobody knew the answer. Three days. Mrs. Sophia, three days, nobody knew. He left. He took the wagon and the horse, the horse and wagon, and he started to leave. A minute before he left, he see a young boy. Rabbi, Rabbi! He stopped the, the horse, he's smiling. Yes, what is the answer? He said, honestly speaking, I don't know the answer. So why are you running all the way here? He said, Rabbi, with all the respect to your daughters, I didn't sleep three months. Three, three days. I didn't sleep three days because of these questions. Can you at least give me the answer? He answered him, you are my next son-in-law. You are my son-in-law. If you 
want the answer so badly? Meaning that you so dedicate? He made them his son in law. Even though he didn't know the answer, he said, A person with such a strong will, such a strong will. You know what the Zohar Kadosh said? Nothing is greater from the power of will. Rabbi Nachman Brest writes, Rabbi Nachman Brest writes, that will standing in the highest level, Keter, the crown of a human being. In, in Kabbalistics, the crown considered to be the highest. Will considered to be the highest. And you know what? Come, Rabbi Nachman Brest and said like this. Let's see if you know this one. When Mashiach is going to come, God will give tzaddikim to eat special food. Do you know which food they're going to eat? Leviathan. Very nice. How do you call it in English? Leviathan in English. No, no, I, no, no, not Leviathan. It's a name in English. Well, a special well. You know, they have a sharks, they have a sharks, and then they have a well. The biggest well in the world. The biggest, huge. Inside of the whole United States. God, keep it for Tzadikim. Listen to what the Midrash write. The Midrash write, when God, the Pasuk said in Bereshit, that God made the Taninim. Rashi write, Maz Taninim? Well and his wife. Well and his wife. And then God took away the wife. He killed the wife. The only woman that he had, he killed it. Now what exactly happened to the well when his wife is not alive? He's always searching, searching all day long. He's searching as, that he will ever find his wife. No, why? Because she's Rahmat Kuna, right? She's dead. He doesn't know, he's searching. God wants to teach all of us. What I'm looking from you is, at least you're searching. At least you want it. You want it? After Mashiach is going to come, you're going to get paid for this win. Even though maybe I want it not to speak the Shonah. I want to go modesty. I want not to watch in a certain things that I do. I want it. I really want it. I do not want to watch it. I do not want to sp- I want to wake up in the morning. And every morning, I don't wake up. But again, I'm going to sleep at night and say, God, please. I really wanted to wake up. Please help me. And tomorrow, nothing. The guy's still sleeping. I really want it to get closer to Hashem. I want to put the fill in. I want to keep Shabbat. I want it. You know what's going to happen? Rabbi Nachman Brest writes, even from this will, that you didn't do it, you will get paid. You know what you're going to get paid? With this will. The will that always won it. He want to find his wife, that he will ever find his wife? No. But God will pay him. God will pay all of us. All the people that had the good will, all the people that pray for Hashem every day, God, I want to get married. I want to have children. I want to have Parnassan. I want to have Kedusha. I want to finish one Masechet, one book in the Gemara. I want to finish a book. I want it. I came here. I'm trying. Maybe, you, maybe you're not going to finish it. But at least the will. Because nothing is more important from having a strong will. A good will. A will to do good. And God consider it like you did it. This is the uniqueness of Judaism. The fact that you want to do something, if you really want it badly, even if God forbid you didn't succeed, God will pay you like you did it. And in the next world, when Mashiach is going to come, you're going to be part of the people that get the food. What's the name of the food? The well that will always want it and always search for his wife. For 6,000 years, and he didn't find his wife. But as long as he was always searching. Don't fall down. Even though you fell down once or twice or three times, do not give up. Continue, continue to try to get into the finish the same way that the wells. If this is so, now we're going to give you a few tips. With this, I'm going to, with this I'm going to conclude. We spoke about the power of will. We spoke about kibudurim, honoring your parents the power of wills, that nothing is more strongest from having a wills. So what do we have to do? What do we have to do? We have to remember two things, but this I'm going to let you go. The first thing is, the first thing is, you have to remember who you are. Who you are. You know, I want to become the President of the United States. 
Can this will ever happen? Why? Because, you know, I'm not American, right? I'm Israeli, perhaps. Okay? So I'm Israeli. I believe legal wise, it will not happen, right? Beautiful. Now, many of us have dreams that physically in our sense will never happen. But you know where we are mistaken? You know where, 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 we, are, where we are mistaken? We are underestimate ourselves. We don't value who we are. Shlomo the Yitzchak. If you will know who you are, you will never know and you will never believe how far you can go. As far that a human being can achieve. Listen to this. Last week, Parashat Dr. Daniel, Yehuda is coming to Yosef. Vaigash elav Yehuda vayomer bi Adoni. After the brother sold yourself. After the brother sold yourself, right? They sold him. After they sold him, Yosef went down to Egypt. Now Yosef became the biggest and the strongest human being in the world. They don't recognize that this is Yosef. They think that he is the Paro, he is the messenger. He is the helper of Paro. Okay. Now, Yosef kidnapped which child? Binyamin. Binyamin. He kidnapped another child. He said, listen, he stole money from me. He take the child away. Do you remember the last child? This is the last child of Yaakov, the second child from our mother Rachel, and he kidnapped. All the brothers got foes. They don't, know, don't, they don't do nothing except one brother. You know what's the name of this brother? What's the name of the brother that came? Yehuda. Yehuda is coming and said, with all the respect, my master, be Adoni. He came into a war and he came in. I don't understand why you're not afraid. Imagine yourself, you're going right now to the White House and you come into the President of the United States and you're trying to arrange a war in the White House. Do you know how many Secret Service they have around the White House? Under, in the walls, outside of the walls? You know what the weapons they have in the room of the President? Do you know that in one second, if yourself looked, they have maybe a hundred thousand soldiers just jumping in, a hundred thousand of them? To kill? How come Dr. Albert, physically, emotionally, logically, Yehuda was not afraid? Beautiful story. Everybody read the story, nobody understand. But will, I understand. I want to be the president. I cannot be the president. I, I want to have a will. A will to range a war against, they had eight people, eight people in Hanukkah. Eight Bechilat that they said crazy people that had a good will to range a war against 600,000 soldiers from the Greek. They have weapons and they came in. Mika Mocha Bailim. God will. Will is good, but it cannot be a crazy will. Okay, not choice is dangerous, but still. Are you gonna, are you gonna win because you have no choice? Uh, 100%. But are you gonna win? Listen to the Ben Ishai explanation. The Chida Kadosh. He writes like this. Yehuda revealed all of us the secret to have a strong will and to achieve anything you want. Vayig HaShelav. Yehuda is coming in front of himself and he said, Be Adoni. Not be Adoni. Be Amunai. God is in me. If God is in me, my power is unlimited. Do you know what's mean in me? How do you write Yehuda? How do you write Yehuda? Yehuda, how do you write Yehuda? Yud. Yehu. Hey. Yehu. Vav. Dalet. Hey. You see, Yud. K. Vav. K. You know why Dalet? Four letters. Yud. K. Vav. K. Is four letters. Meaning, the name of God is on me. Not only the name of God. The neshama, Yitzchak, Shlomo, the neshama that we have, Mula Eliyam, the soul that we have, the Jewish soul is part of God. Do you know what the meaning? I can win against all Egypt by myself. You know why? Because God is in me. Nothing physically can ever stop me. To achieve and to become the richest human being in the world, the most successful. How do you think that the Jews succeed after the Holocaust? Six million Jews die. 
where exactly we had the chutzpah to come to America to become the most influenced, the most powerful, the most richest place, richest people in America, and to go to Israel to build the, to build Israel to be the light of the whole Middle East. Any other nation after such a crisis will never be able to stand up. Greek history. Once upon the time, it was Greek. And once upon the time, it was Babylon. Babylon, you know, Babylon? Babylon become balloon. It become a balloon. What work is Babylon? You have to open the history book. My dear son, 2,000 years ago, it was Babylon that became balloon. Where is Paras? Where is Paras? Where is Bougie? All of them, where is German? German, they can stone them. All of them is history. And the Jews, not only does nobody succeed to talk us down, we become stronger and stronger. Every time they try, now we become cantoning. Even this guy, the singer, he claimed, by the way, I proved this message, that we are very strong. We are very powerful. We are very powerful people. We don't, we don't have nothing against nobody. We are welcoming everybody. All this nonsense. But yes, what exactly is our secret? Being the Jews, you know what's the secret? Be Almonai. God is inside of us. Rabbi Akiva, from being nobody in the age of 40 to become the biggest rabbi in the world history in the age of 64. Who even tried in the age of 40? Normal people will never start trying. Rabbi Akiva tried. And he became the biggest rabbi. You know why? Be Adoni. Gentlemen, we spoke about honoring parents. We spoke about the power of will. We spoke about to remember who you are. And you are part of God. Don't shoot low. Shoot high. You're going into medicine? You're not going to be average doctors. You're not going to be a doctor that doing $50,000 or $100,000 a year and smile. You're going to be the best doctors in your field. If you're going to be a dentist, pharmacist, you don't have to steal. You don't have to lie. Be honest, but be the best. Be the best. If you're going to be the rabbis, become much better from us. Become, don't worry, I approve this message. I'm happy that I'm going to be jealous. Student is going to jealous. I will bless you to become greater for us. If you're going to be religious, shoot to the highest. And anything in life you shoot to the highest, you will have to be. You know why? Because God is in you. Be a monai. You have yourself. You can be the king of Egypt, the king of this. I don't care. You know who I am? I am the son of God and part of God. And last but not least, how, how do you do it? How do you do it in the practical ways? Dr. Albers will appreciate this one. Three, short. The first one is, when you have a will, I have a will to get married. So what do you do? You're going to sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to get married? Look for Shatchanit, matchmaker, and start to move forward. Look for a date. Make the will practice. Don't leave it in a vision. I have a vision to become rich. What do you do about it? Eating popcorn and watching movies three hours and uh, I met the will. I want to be like him, like the guy from the movie. The popcorn is amazing. <laughs> that will will never. I want to be Rabbi Akiva. When exactly is the last time you open the one page of Gemara? I'm not talking about to finish the whole shots. One page. Rabbi, it's too difficult. Why bad things happen to good people? I'm sweating. I'm this. I'm that. You want to have a will? The first tip I'm going to give you in the practical ways. You want to get married? Start to look for it. You want Be'ezrat Hashem to become a doctor? Go and look and search. Go and start to make your will reality. Small steps. Second advice I'm going to tell you is, when you start, when you start something, try to finish it. Even if it's small wills. Finishing is sense of satisfied. Sense of happiness. You see, they said when a person is taking the Torah, I'm always telling Dr. Albert, when you take the Torah, bring it back. Do not let somebody else, do not leave. You start the mitzvah, you finish the mitzvah. You start, you open their own. Esther, uh, Dr. Albert is in charge of always opening their own every seventh Torah. He will explain you later why. When you open their own, Bezrat Hashem, you have to close it after. You start something even small, you finish it. You don't leave in the middle. And last but not least, if you start something, try to do even more from your expectation. If you, what is, is your expectation is to work 10 hours, do it 12. Break every time a little more. Because when you break and you feel, and you convince yourself, 
that you are unstoppable. Three practical advice. When you have a vision, a dreams, or goodwill, I want to become big rabbis. Start by waking up in the morning. Let's start with waking up in the morning. I want to become religious. Don't become Rabbi Akiva one day. Wake up in the morning and come to Minyan. Start with one, one day, twice, three times a day. You want to be successful? Come to Shul Torah once in every Monday. Monday, 8 o'clock at the BJCC at Minyan. I'm coming. That's it. I start the good will, the hard will to become Rabbi Akiva. Start with one Monday at a time. I will come to Monday. Second, I will come to Monday, but I'm going to stay from the beginning till then. I'm not going to live in the middle. I'm going to be in the class from the beginning till then. And last but not least, this week is Monday. Next week is already Monday and Tuesday. Chavuta program. And following weeks, break your record every time. Breaking the record, convincing you that you can do it even more, even better, even greater. Ladies and gentlemen, I bless all of us that we're always going to have good wills. May God will fulfill all our will and wishes. And may the Almighty God will bless all of you to have a long and healthy and happy life. Let us say Amen. Rabbi Hanan. Rabbi Hanan.